In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the two bucket method and why we use it here at AM Details. You can check it out straight after this. Hey there guys, I'm Alan and welcome to AM Details. We bring you car care and detailing related videos every week. Subscribe and make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification when we go live to answer your detailing questions. So a lot of people when they come into the shop turn around and say, how did I get these swirls in my car? Or where did this damage come from? And nine times out of 10, it's from making contact with your car. So here at AM Details, we do a five step wash system. I have put a little link to it up here of a live session where I talk you through it, but we wanna do pre-washing. And then when we have to make physical contact, we bring in this, the two bucket method, and I'm gonna talk you through it. And real quick guys, once I've shown you what the two bucket method is, I'm gonna give you some of my top tips when doing the two bucket method and how to work with your shampoo. So make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video to check them out. So before we dive into the two bucket method, uh, I'm gonna show you the one. There we go, the one bucket method, just like you guys might already be using at home. So what have we got? We've got a bucket full of our soapy suds and shampoo and your wash mitt or your sponge. What happens? Well, you generally go from your nice soapy water, like this, nice soapy water, dirty van, and clean down the van. No problem. Now we've picked up all our dirt into this mitt. And what you would generally do at home if you do the one bucket method is then dunk your mitt into here. Fantastic. Clean out all the dirt, which is great. Superb. The problem comes in this next step. When you dunk back into the wash bucket, you're now picking up lovely soapy water and all the original dirt that you left in there. And now bringing it back to the van. And then you dunk back in here and repeat in that process, all that's happening is you're taking dirt from here, putting it into here and then cycling it around. So you're just moving the dirt from one place to another. So just to recap on that one, when you're using the one bucket, what ends up happening is you're doing a great job in getting your soapy suds, cleaning down your car, but then all you're doing is grabbing all the dirt that's left on the vehicle, putting it into that bucket and then picking it back up again and just cycling it around. And thus, every time you're touching the car, you're inducing the same amount, if not more dirt, every time back to the vehicle. The two bucket method. Here we are, I've rented out this one because we'd used it before and it was full of grit and I've just filled it up with water. So it's time to put our shampoo in, prep this, and then talk you guys through what is the two bucket method. AM Bubbles, two caps for one of these nice big buckets usually covers it. Get the pressure washer and generate ourselves some bubbles. There we are. This time we are gonna use this bucket, the rinse bucket. So we're gonna go mitt, soapy shampoo, suds. Clean down the dirty area on the van. Fantastic. We've now taken whatever dirt was on there into this mitt. We're now gonna use the rinse bucket, just full of water. Keeping nice and high in the bucket, we're gonna dunk in here. Agitate the dirt out as much as we can. Rinse that out. We've now got a clean mitt. We've left the dirt in the rinse bucket. Nice soapy suds back to the van. So now we've left the dirt in the rinse bucket or as most of the dirt as we can. Of course, this is not gonna be the perfect scientific technique that everything has been eliminated, but we are bringing in another step to massively reduce bringing dirt back to the van. And then when we've gone to the van, it's just nice soapy suds. And now we're gonna leave the dirt back in here. and continue. So to recap, you're gonna go from your soapy bucket, pick up that nice soapy water and clean down the surface of your paint. Then go into the rinse bucket, rinse out as much of the dirt as you can. Thus, you now have a clean mitt and you're picking up nice clean soapy water going back to your vehicle, massively reducing any damage going back into it because you're reducing that amount of grit or dirt you may be taking back to your paintwork. Now it's time for Alan's top tips. Tip number one, put the water in your bucket First. The reason for this is some shampoos on the market may have special additives in them or they have to be done at a specific ratio. And if you're putting the shampoo in first and then filling it up with water, what happens is you end up creating a lot of soapy suds, which you guys will be thinking is absolutely fantastic, but you will stop when the soapy suds reach the top of the bucket. Thus, you cannot guarantee that the water to shampoo ratio is correct inside your bucket. So if you put the water in first, you then get to choose, for example, if it's five liters and then you want to be putting in 100 ml of product, you can put in exactly five liters of water into your bucket, then add 
the 100 ml of product. And then just as you've seen, use the pressure washer trick to give you the soapy suds that you're looking for. Tip number two, get as tall a bucket as you can. The reason for this is you want to stay in the upper surface of the bucket and massively reduce dunking your mitt all the way down to the bottom where you could potentially be picking up more grit. What you want to happen is when you're swirling at the top and agitating your mitt at the top of the bucket, you want that grit to fall down into the bottom of the bucket and stay down there. Tip number three, to assist in the control of the grit in this bucket, get yourself some grit guards. There's plenty on the market and lots of different varieties, but they all have the same intention. To keep the grit in the bottom of the bucket. When you swirl your hand in the bucket, you create like a venturi effect or a vortex effect, which wants to make the grit come up the bucket. So the grit guards have openings on the top to allow the grit to go down there, but then the little tiny chamber sections it makes are designed to keep the grit down there in the bottom of the bucket and away from your mitt. And that's my top three tips. Number one, put the water in first. Number two, get as tall a bucket as you can and then keep your mitt at the top of that bucket. And number three, install some grit guards in the bottom of your bucket to help keep the grit down there. Today's video question, what method do you use when you have to make contact with the car? Are you doing using one bucket but a lot of different mitts so that every time you're going back to the car it's a different mitt? I really want to know down below so we can get a conversation going in the AM Details community. And that's the two bucket method and another great detailing tip from us here at AM Details. We bring you car care and detailing related videos every week. Subscribe and please do make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification every time that I go live to answer your detailing questions. And over here are two videos chosen just for you. Ciao.